The Common Display System, or CDS, has two functions. It supplies data to the flight crew about the airplane and its systems, and it permits the flight crew to control the displays. Airplane data are shown on six flat panel display units, or DUs. The DUs are the captain outboard, captain inboard, first officer outboard, first officer inboard, upper and lower. The pilot's outboard and inboard DUs normally show all primary flight and navigation data. The upper DU normally shows primary engine instruments and fuel data. The lower DU is normally blank or shows secondary engine instruments or system data under specified conditions. Two display electronic units, or DEUs, receive data from sensors and airplane systems. The DEUs supply these data to the DUs. Normally, DEU1 supplies display data to the captain outboard, captain inboard, and upper DUs. And DEU2 supplies data to the first officer outboard, first officer inboard, and the lower DUs. If necessary, one DEU can supply data to all six DUs. This is discussed later in the lesson. Manual brightness controls for the pilot's display units are on the instrument panel. Each pilot has controls to adjust the brightness of the related outboard and inboard DUs. In addition, the captain can control the brightness of the upper and lower DUs. Turn the captain's outboard DU brightness control to increase the brightness of the outboard DU. On the dual knob controls, the outer control adjusts the brightness of the DUs. The smaller inner control adjusts the brightness of the weather radar returns. Turn the inner knob on the first officer's inboard DU brightness control to increase the brightness of the weather radar returns. The control panels for the Electronic Flight Instrument System, or EFIS, are on the glare shield. And the control panel select switch is on the forward overhead panel. The EFIS control panels control the display features on the pilot's DUs. Other features of the EFIS control panels are discussed in a different lesson. The control panel select switch lets the flight crew select which EFIS control panel controls the pilot's displays. Normally, the switch is in the normal position, and each pilot's EFIS control panel controls its related displays. Select both on two. The right EFIS control panel now controls all pilot outboard and inboard displays. Anytime you select both on one or both on two, the related EFIS control panel controls all pilot displays. The display source selector is on the forward overhead panel. You use the selector to select the DEU that supplies data to the pilot's DUs. Normally, the selector is in the auto position. With the selector in auto, each DEU controls the related displays. If a DEU fails, the remaining DEU automatically supplies data to all six DEUs.
If you select All on 1 or All on 2, the related DEU supplies data to all displays. Now let's look at DEU fault enunciations. If a DEU fails on the ground before engine start, CDS fault illuminates on the pilot's displays. This is a no dispatch condition. If the display system senses a serious DEU problem, the CDS maintenance indication illuminates on the ground. Dispatch is not permitted. The CDS maintenance annunciations extinguish when an engine is started. If a DEU fails in flight, display source illuminates. This shows that the remaining DEU supplies data to all six DEUs. All displays are available and operate normally. The display select panels are on the instrument panel above the pilot's display units. Each display select panel has two selectors that permit the pilots to control the displays on the related outboard and inboard DUs and to control the display on the lower DU. The main panel DU's selector has five positions, normal, outboard primary flight display or outboard PFD, inboard engine primary, inboard PFD, and multifunction display or MFD. The lower DU selector has normal, engine primary, and navigation display, or ND, positions. Normally, all selectors are in the normal position. In normal, the pilot's outboard and inboard display units show primary flight and navigation data. And the upper display unit shows primary engine and fuel data. The lower display is normally blank or shows secondary engine instruments when the CDS initially receives power, engine failure or shutdown in flight when selected on the multifunction display or MFD or when secondary engine limits are exceeded. If a DU fails, Automatic display switching makes sure the necessary data are always available to the pilots. If an outboard DU fails, the DU blanks and the PFD automatically shows on the inboard DU. If an inboard DU fails, the DU blanks the navigation display, or ND, does not automatically move to the lower display. If the upper DU fails, the DU blanks and the primary engine display moves to the lower DU. If the secondary engine instruments are being displayed, a compact engine display will be shown. Let's put the display units back to normal and manually control the displays with the selectors. Select Outboard PFD with the Captain's Main Panel DU's selector. The Outboard DU will continue to show the PFD display, but the Inboard DU will blank. Now select Inboard PFD with the Captain's selector. The Inboard DU shows the Primary Flight display and the Outboard DU is blank. To display the navigation display for the captain, select ND on the captain's lower DU panel. The navigation display shows on the lower DU. Let's reset the lower display. Select inboard engine primary with the first officer's main panel DU's selector. 
the upper DU blanks. The engine displays move to the first officer's inboard DU. And the first officer's outboard DU shows the primary flight display. If the captain now selects engine primary, the captain's inboard DU also shows the engine displays. And the primary flight display moves to the outboard DU. Now let's look at the lower DU selector. Select engine primary with the first officer's lower DU selector. The primary engine display shows on the lower DU. Select normal with the first officer's lower DU selector. The lower DU blanks. The upper DU does not show the engine displays because the captain's and first officer's main panel DU's selectors are set to inboard engine primary. Select normal with the captain's main panel DU's selector. The upper DU remains blank because the first officer's main panel DU's selector is set to inboard engine primary. Select normal with the first officer's main panel DU's selector. The displays are in their normal configuration. The multifunction display selector or MFD has two switches. The system switch selects aircraft system information on the lower DU and the engine switch selects secondary engine information. If either the upper or lower DU fails, compact engine instruments are displayed. Pushing the engine MFD button again switches between the compact engine instrument display and primary engine instruments display. Now let's reset the displays and use the main panel DU selector to display the MFD functions. Select MFD on the captain's main panel DU selector. Now select the MFD engine switch. The secondary engine instruments are now displayed on the inboard display. Here's a chance for you to practice with the display select panels. You can select any combination of switches on the panels. Touch the green arrow when ready to continue.